Hello and welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's uh, interview video. Today's interview is with D1 from UGF. Uh, so why don't you give us a uh, bit of your clan history? Um, well, basically I started off with my own clan called the SSFC. It wasn't a really big known clan. We were called the Spartan Special Forces Clan. And that lasted only like a couple months to where when it ended, I decided I was going to be done with the Halo Clan community. You know how many times I said that though? So then I came back and I made UGFR. Um, during the first generation of UGFR, I had a vice president named King Jade All 80 A lot of people know him, uh, mainly by the UGN. But after he left, when he left, I merged into a clan everyone knows and loves called the Allied Colonist of Halo. Uh, when Reclaimers was leader, I merged with him. After a rebellion happened in ACH, I left. When that rebellion happened, I started up UGFR again and destroyed that rebellion. So, you know, everyone loved me in ACH and that, and I thought, hmm, maybe I should go with this, and I did. Created, like, five generations of UGFR. Basically went by VP. Like, if a VP left, I said, alright, here's another generation. Uh, I only had like one rebellion against me, and it was by the third generation VP. But you know, yeah, it was his decision. Took the ODSTs and left. And we were not UNSC; we were military, but we had ODSTs. So then, uh, after all that with UGFR, I decided, hey, I'm gonna take a little break, and then I'm gonna come back on Halo Five with a brand new clan. And I come back with the United Galactic Federation UGF, and we had a media video put up, but we had to take it down for something some problem was with it so we had to take it down maybe upload it later i don't know but yeah so far we're pretty successful successful all right then uh what's your current member count at? um in the sparring company we only have like 10 members which is bad i know but we gotta we have at least like 20 if i can count on my friends list right now now this is going to be kind of like a two-part question uh What's your raid record at the moment? What was, you know, your overall raid record for uh, the clans that you've ran? And then what's UG UGF at, at the moment? Um, overall raid record? It's hard to say. I've lost a lot of raids more than I won, I think. I definitely have, which is not good. But I don't know the exact number count for overall, like me, myself. Okay. I could say UGFs, I know it's we had two raid wins and we had one loss to UBH and then one tie to UBH. That's all we know of so far. <laughs> Alright then, uh, how does your uh, clan structure work or, you know, your uh, ranking system? Uh, we... We go by the United States Army and all that, but instead of going by today's army, we went by the more simpler, more easy to handle World War II ranks. That's how we go. We don't ask why. We just decided it's much easier. It's much more organized to us in a way. So that's what we go by. What are your clan goals? Well, our clan goals are to make our future leaders of the community better than what we were. Fair enough. What has been your toughest fight so far? Toughest fight? Uh, the war with UBH that lasted like a week or two, and then we ended it peacefully. But in that war, we only had one raid with UBH, was a surprise raid, and the other one lasted a tie because one of our allies named AOD, Age of Delta, they held a meeting with us, UBH, and them, and they assassinated UBH, and the game ended in a tie. So then that was the tie record on our raid record. But AOD fought like four raids with them. And according to AOD, they won them all. But according to UBH, only two were won and the other two were lag outs or didn't happen. So, yeah, that's as far as I'm concerned. But we ended it. I'm pretty sure AOD and UBH are still fighting. I'm not too sure. <laughs> all right, then uh, do you have any allies outstanding? Oh, uh, God, of course. Um, one of our biggest and best allies are known as Caron Industries. They're a pretty popular clan as of right now. And the other one is either Age of Delta or or ARF. It's Armed Rebellious Forces. It's probably going to be Caron Industries is one of our best allies. Most outstanding. 
All right, then the complete opposite of that question. Do you have any opposition outstanding? Oh, definitely. Uh, the United Brotherhood, UBH. I got to give it to them. They're very, very good in Miller mili- uh, tra- uh, strategies. God, I couldn't say. Very good. Tactical strategy. That actually about wraps up all my questions for you. Uh, so do you want to ask me a question or do a recruitment message or both? Um, nothing much. I mean, if you guys would like to join the clan, just message D1 Lee Rob or Helianth or Lax Pyro. All right, guys. Uh, unless you want to ask a question. Um. Uh, nothing really. Just uh, one question. How active are you going to be in the next couple months? Because those Halo Clan of the Day updates have been a little. I don't want to say lacky, but they've been a little lazy for a little bit. All right. As, as far as uh, Clan of the Day goes, and uh, as active as I've been in the channel, I'm trying to become more active, but you know. <laughs> It's kind of hard without uh, yeah. active internet access. Um, yeah, I get the yeah. Way, the way my computer's been kind of bugging out lately, so I need to kind of upgrade. Uh, fortunately, though, I just found a uh, internet service provider that provides unlimited internet versus my uh, data plan. Um, because where I live, I can only get like mobile broadband, which is like a cell phone data plan. And they're like trying to charge like a hundred bucks for a hundred or for ten gigs, and I'm like, I can go through that in an hour if I really wanted to. <laughs> and uh, th- this place is like three hundred dollars for the equipment for like a satellite, and uh, like forty five bucks a month for uh, the unlimited like two point oh megabyte speed of internet. So you know, it's it's not, not that bad. Deal. Um, especially considering Dish Network, which, you know, their kind of slogan is high-speed internet no matter where you live. Uh, yeah. They, they, they kind of chipped me. And, uh, like, seriously, I was going to have to pay, like, $900 for the equipment because I didn't have any credit. Um, you know, I've never had to borrow money, so I didn't have a line of credit. And so I had to actually buy the equipment from them. And they were going to charge me, like, $900 and then, like, 120 bucks a month for pretty much the same deal. And, uh, so that, that was kind of what they were charging me. And they had a billboard down at the end of my road said high speed internet, internet, no matter where you live. And so that's where I kind of, I'm like, you know what? It's going to be worth it. You know, get the internet, even though it's going to cost me out the ass. But, uh, the guy actually arrived and like installed the TV dish stuff. And he's like, yeah, you actually can't get high speed internet out here. I'm like, well, then give me my goddamn money. <laughs> uh, I, wow. I, I should have sued for false advertisement right there. <laughs> um, I only have, like, uh, one more question. Uh, are you ever going to bring back some of the old stuff you did on Halo Clans, like the free agency? Like, that was one of the coolest well, ones, I thought. Well, unfortunately, there aren't many of those videos being sent in. Like, seriously, I maybe got three over the past year and a half and Jesus. i i would be like honestly doing it more and more often but you know there's not many people sending them in because you know it's hard enough for a clan to make kind of a recruitment video or that kind of deal let alone a single solitary person to kind of like strut their stuff kind of deal because really what i was trying to do is bring the free agents more up to date because I mean honestly you like even if you don't have the connect for your uh, X1 you can just double tap the uh, guide button and press the X button and it records your clips and then you go to xboxdvr.com and you know you could download them straight to your computer or your tablet or whatever yeah, you can and it, it's really easy to make a uh, you know kind of like a Montage. Yeah, a montage or a recruitment video or anything that way. And uh, th- that's kind of why things have been slow as far as that goes. Um, uh, I was honestly thinking about just completely taking that off the map, um, completely redoing my uh, introduction video, as well as uh, bring some new stuff to the table. Because um, uh, I kind of got like a community map type of deal in the works for like a fan fiction type deal um 
but you know it's going to take some time to get that up and running. Uh, I did have I did have another uh, website type thing to kind of get uh, more people involved in the community, uh, kind of get more hype going, but. That's where I kind of got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, is I was, I had to edit pictures and I had to like edit with Photoshop, like over a thousand pictures. And, uh, that takes time. <laughs> it does. Like, I'll, I'll sit down for a whole day and maybe get 20 pictures done, uh, just because of what I'm doing to them. And, uh, so uh, obviously that was going to sink in some more time than I thought it would be. Always will. <laughs> Alright, any more questions? Nope, that's about it. Alright guys, this has been Halo Clans and D1 from UGF uh, signing out. Thanks. <laughs>